So before I start this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to all the people that have been fucking just throwing some change my way on Patreon and PayPal. You guys are the absolute fucking greatest. I love you guys so fucking much. Seriously, genuinely, thank you. Now, on to the cancer. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Worst of the Week, where we take a look at some of the worst shit that has happened in the past week. And, ooh, we got some spicy meatballs. First thing I want to cover is the batshit crazy girl, the crazy lady, just, you know, or as I dubbed her, the land whale. But, you know, not all trends can catch on. But there's a lot of stuff that has been unearthed since she made her appearance on the, uh, on the, <laughs> her 15 minutes of insane fame. You're sexually harassing me. You and that slut. As charming as that display was, there's actually a lot more colorful and juicy and adorable things about her personal life. But keep in mind, it's not very personal because it's out in the public. And what am I talking about? Well, it turns out that she does porn. Turns out that she's a cam girl. Turns out she has some fucking videos of her on uh, on some of those, you know, smaller websites. She might be on Pornhub, but uh, there's one that has hamster in it. That's all I know. I have to, I'm not going to link to it. I'm just saying. I haven't seen it, but I've seen screenshots and Jesus fucking Christ. Just seeing like, you know, just knowing how just gross she is and then seeing gross shit that she does. And I'm not saying that cam girls are doing porn as girls. Of course it's not. That, sh that shit's fucking awesome. But just her doing it and there's actually like, there's, there, people talk of, there's a moment where you can see some toilet paper hanging from her ass or something when she's stripping or something like that. I haven't seen it. I'm not going to confirm it. I'm taking people's word for it. But that just shows you how fucking classy she is. And now for the cream of the crop. The cream, yeah. The cream of the crop. So it turns out that she has a Twitter. She she loves My Little Pony and she's a fucking believer. She's a, she's a Justin Bieber fanatic. And also, she has her phone number up there soliciting sex. Like, so yeah, hit her up and you can get a nice fuck with this crazy ass broad. <laughs> Fucking A, she's in Hollywood. I should give her ass a ring, you know? Let me see, let me see what's going on with that shit. All jokes aside, she clearly needs help. Like, come on, when you're tweeting fucking nude photos at Justin Bieber and you're an adult, I mean, come the fuck on. And I guess it's been um, also people have come out, people that know her personally said that she's recently just lost her mind and just pushed a bunch of people away with the, with tantrums like the one that you saw at the restaurant. So she clearly does need some fucking help, you know, and that's pretty fucked up. But at the same time, I mean, she, Jesus Christ, I mean, you. Sometimes you gotta go after the low-hanging fruit. Moving on, the next thing I want to talk about is just, just a fucking, just a joke. Like, just, just showing you how fucking, how much, like, things are becoming a joke now in, in just life. Like, IRL is becoming fucking memes, dude. Like, it doesn't make any goddamn sense. What I'm talking about, there's this dude, 18 years old, named Zaid Ahmed or something like that. And he's, like, a, an activist. He, he's really prestigious, you know, he's, uh... He's written for the Huffington Post. He's given a TEDx talk. I mean, he's been congratulated by former President Obama himself. So he has he has some 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 impressive stuff under his resume. But what he's in the news for now is that he wrote a um, an application to Stanford, and all he did was write "Black Lives Matter" a hundred times, and he got fucking accepted. What? Basically, the question was formed as what matters to you and why? So he just put Black Lives Matter and then hoo -hoo, it's so good. So courageous, man. That's that's how you get into a fucking university, man. By just basically fucking spamming the fuck out of Black Lives Matter out of, out of a goddamn hashtag. A fucking um, out of an organization that has been linked to terrorism. And people always want to argue, well, not all of it's bad. I'm like, yeah, dude, that's such a fucking fallacy to just say that not all of it's bad. I'm like, dude, it's fucking cancer. It's poison. It needs to just fuck that shit, dude. We can do a much better job at fucking making everybody's lives matter or whatever without using a goddamn fucking hashtag organization with leaders at the front that have fucking been into some really fucked up shit in the past. And I'm not gonna get into that. I've already made fucking videos on that before. If you wanna see, check out my Black Lives Matters bullshit addendum. But I digress. Let me reel it back in a little bit. It's just, it, it, it makes me mad that something as stupid as that could get you into a fucking university. And also, I think it, it's kind of silly, like, there's probably a bunch of people 
that have written much better things and you're probably just, you know, taking away another slot from somebody else. You know, it, it's pretty fucked up and I'm sure like, you know, plenty of, uh, of black people are, are happy about this because it shows that Stanford is, gives a shit about their cause or uh, of Black Lives Matter or whatever. But then at the same time, I think there's people that are mad because they're like, oh, this fucking brown boy is probably taking a, a slot from from a, from a black person. And, you know, like probably a black person that has tried and wrote something legitimate. And then all he had, all he now he's just like, fuck, all I have to do is just write Black Lives Matter a hundred times. And I'll get accepted. I mean, fuck. Yeah, dude. What is trying, dude? What is fucking excelling? I'm going to test the waters. I'm going to see how easy it is to get into Stanford. So me as a black man, I will just let them know that I am oppressed. And then at the same same time i'll just write a, a heartfelt essay and then i think that they'll let me in we'll see I, there's no fucking guarantee but if that guy can get in and he's not even fucking black you know i'm pretty sure just me being black will just let me in automatically so now the last bit of crazy i want to talk about is our favorite black person rachel doll is all and I'm black, y'all, and I'm black, y'all, and I'm blacker than black, and I'm black, y'all. For those of you that don't know who she is, she was a former civil rights activist. She's a former African studies instructor. She was also the president of uh, the NAACP chapter in Spokane, Washington, and just a crazy fucking broad. She busted onto the scene a couple years ago because it came out that she was trans black. You know, she, she always considered herself black, and she would do everything she can to make herself look black, like making herself a little bit darker, you know, curling her hair up, putting it in Corn rows or braids or whatever, which I think is just fucking despicable. But we'll get into that in a minute. The reason why she's being brought up again is because there's people taking this shit seriously, man. She's been interviewed by BBC, CNN, and what fucking not. And she just released a new fucking book in full color, Finding My Place in a Black and White World. I'll save you all the cancer of the interviews and stuff like that that I went through. But basically, she just says stuff like, you know, race is a lie. It's a social construct and this and that, which is fucking weird because a lot of people that are really into like Black Lives Matter and just, you know, black supremacy and stuff would fucking would spit on her for that shit. But yeah, I guess she's an ally. She's like she's a good white devil. So they accept her or something like that. But it's just it's fucking ridiculous how things are getting to the point where you have people like her and you have people like Sean fucking King Talcum X that'll just be like, hey, I'm white as shit, but you know, I'm black now. And all I have to do is just be a fucking stereotype and then it's okay. That's what makes me the angriest because like, no, nah, I'm fucking, I am a black man, but you cannot define me by any of these fucking stereotypes. And I'm not saying all these stereotypes are a bad thing, but it's just like, it's just not me. And it's a fucking insult when I see her or someone like fucking Sean King just trying to be like, yo, what up, brother? And all of a sudden it's like, yeah, I'm considered black now. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck, man? What is this shit? You know, like transracial. <laughs> You know, people always talk about that whole slippery slope thing where it's like, oh, you take this seriously, then people are going to start bringing even more ridiculous shit, you know, and like people try to use it on certain things that don't really apply. But this one definitely applies when some people like this start to get taken seriously, like being trans fucking racial. Like, obviously, we have already taken transgender seriously because it's, you know, why the fuck not? Of course, I mean, now you have people that are just like, oh, I look like a fucking man, 100%, but I'm a woman. Take me seriously. And there's some people on the fucking far left camp that are fighting for that shit. And they're the same ones that are accepting this Rachel Dolezal broad because it fucking what? How the fuck is this a thing, man? How is this real fucking life? Since everything's up in the air and anything, anyone can be taken seriously being fucking trans, whatever. I, I'm, I'm going to say that I am trans financial, okay? I'm trans financial. I am a rich man and a poor man's body, you know? And I just, I just haven't, like, I just need help, you know? If you guys can just fucking throw a bunch of money at me, I can become rich because I've always felt like I'm genuinely supposed to be rich. So please give me all of your money, put it all in those fucking sacks with the dollar signs and mail it to, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll get back to that later. We'll, we'll figure it out, we'll set something up, but it, I'm, I'm genuinely serious, guys. I need help, so please give me all of your money. Well, that's all the cancer I have for you guys today. You all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. I just want to give a shout out to my fucking dope ass patrons, Jacob Serpia, uh, I can't, Ser Serpthia, I think that's how you say it. Jennifer, Kathleen, James, and Troy, you guys are the fucking best. Thank you so much. If you guys want to sign up for my Patreon, links in the description in the template. You guys have a wonderful day again and pop a bless.
What was that, Samus? I should I should turn my channel into a, a more advertiser-friendly one? Well, I'm glad you brought that up because I was thinking about doing just guitar tutorials for Saturday morning cartoon theme songs. I think that will bring in all of the fucking revenue back. I think all of the, the advertisers will, will give me more of a spot if I do. Let, let's give it a, let's give it a go!